That's good. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Saturday. Hope you're off to a good start to your weekend. I'm heading to uh, my son's basketball tournament. He's the one doing the filming. Uh, Coach Amari in the future. Uh, my wife and daughter at opposite ends of the Bay Area at her basketball tournament. So I just left my uh, my boot camp. I had to squeeze that one in. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on my way up to uh, this tournament. So it's very simple, guys. You know, in, in honor of the basketball playoffs, NBA, that start today, and the hockey playoffs that are already going, and baseball just started. So all these all these sports, besides football, they have a best of ser seven series, right? So you win four games to win the series. Ironically, that's the same number of days in a week, seven days. So to win the week, to move forward in your goals, to to make some you know some headway and being better at whatever you're trying to be better at, your career, your health, your fitness, your relationships, your academics, whatever it is, trying to get smarter, trying to get leaner, trying to get better, trying to get richer. That Every week is a great compartmentalized section of the year. And so to win that week, you have to win four days. It's very simple math, right? To barely win the week, you have to win four days. So I tell people all the time that you cannot lose every weekend and 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 lose is up to you how you define it right if you're trying to lose weight then you can't not work out and eat poorly both days saturday and sunday right if you're trying to advance in your career uh and you know that the week is busy you can't spend the whole weekend sleeping in and not reading or getting better so you have to look at it like that so you can't go into monday down 0-2, right? I don't care who you are, the Warriors uh, in basketball, the Yankees or Red Sox in baseball. If you go down 0-2 in a best of seven series, the odds of you winning that series are low, right? So the odds of you winning the week, I don't care how good you eat or how much you train during the week, if you go down 0-2 and you lose Saturday and Sunday, the odds of you winning that week are low. So you have to keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. Be mindful of trying to at least win one of the days. Because if you don't, now you have to win four out of five days. And the last time you won four out of five days chasing your dream are probably a long time ago. So try to win one day, right? Get up early Saturday morning, go work out, take Sunday off, right? Maybe you fast longer on Saturday or Sunday. You don't eat as much. Maybe you go no carbs. Maybe you read. Spend all, all morning reading one of those days. Whatever it is, you cannot go into the week 0-2. All right? So, and the whole year is the same way. You can't, you have, to, you have to win 27 weeks out of 52 to barely break even. So, when you, when you think of things like that, guys, it helps make it easier. Right? This, this, this notion that it's easy to become great is false. It's going to be challenging, especially in our environment where most people around you are okay being average, are okay at their current job, at their current weight, at their current financial situation. They're okay with it, right? And if they're not okay with it, they're not ready or willing at the time to change it. So because you're surrounded by people like that, the pull, the inertia of that is strong. So we have to fight against it. And it starts with your mindset. It starts with things like that, not losing the weekend, right? Not celebrating every week being average, right? Like every Friday and Saturday, we look at it like it's a celebration or downtime for a week that oftentimes, if we're being honest, wasn't great, wasn't productive. We didn't move forward. But yet we want to celebrate that by sleeping in, drinking, going out for, for beers and, you know, eating food and uh, in abundance. So we're celebrating an average week in hopes that we're going to get better going forward. That's how it works, guys. So let's begin to look at things differently. All right. Grind, get better. Don't start Monday. Right. Start. It doesn't start or stop. It's, it's, it's never ending. Right. So. Again, Saturday and Sunday are two days out of seven. 
if the week is busy, which it is, if the week is hard for you to, to make ground on your goals, which it is, you can't go into the week down 0-2. Can't do it, guys. All right? So my son's arm is getting tired holding the phone. So I'll check in again with you guys. But that's a good mindset, guys. Huh? That's a good mindset, all right? So let's make sure that we have the right mindset, right? And I have a seminar coming up on April 30th. I'm going to go over all my secrets uh, and my underlying principles that I've, I've used my whole life to be to be great at things. Football, finance, my career, staying in shape. And I'm now applying those same principles to building my career as a fitness and a motivational speaker. So, uh, so come out to that April 30th. I'm going to have it live and and streaming it uh so so mark your calendars april 30th 8, 8 a.m uh but it's more about mindset than anything else it's about it's about strategy it's about mindset it's about a culture that you create for yourself and for people around you uh that's the secret it's not in the x's and o's it's not in the diet not in the workout not in the book it's in mindset it's in strategy it's in in habits all right so have a great weekend guys don't go down 0-2, right? Start the week Monday, you know, not down 0-2, and give yourself a chance to win this series. All right, guys, love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.